All right, so let's just start our day with just closing our eyes and bringing our thoughts and our minds just to where we are right now. Just being present in our bodies, in our space. And start being aware of your breath. So we're gonna start with inhale, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. You might be a little stuffy from the night, so it may or may not work for you, but just breathe through your nose and with each breath, slightly increase your inhale. Hold it just a little longer after you've inhaled and take longer to exhale. So just deepen the movements of your breath. Our theme for our morning is gonna be from Psalm 100. And I'll just share a verse with us from it every now and then. And it starts with, this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. So as you're breathing, inhaling and exhaling, let's just thank the Lord for today. Thank him that you have breath. that you could get out of bed, even if you're sleepy. And on the next inhale, let's raise those arms overhead, reach them as high as you can, and then relax your shoulders and relax the arms. Good. Do that again. Inhale up. Fill the lungs. Hold that breath at the top. Exhale. On the next inhale, let's exhale through the mouth this time. So inhale up. Nice and big. And exhale mouth. Kind of want to push that air out from deep in the throat. Slow through that a few times. Just inhaling. Holding and exhaling through the mouth, letting the air come deep, kind of making that ocean sound. <sighs> On the next one, we're going to add a slight spinal twist. So inhale up, nice and gently exhale to one side, maybe letting the right hand, if it's in front, tap the left knee. And we'll take our big inhale and stretch. Exhale through the mouth. To the other side. Inhale up. Exhale. Do it again. Inhale. And exhale. Now as you're doing this, just start deepening your twist and adding some resistance with that front hand. It's above the knee, not on the knee. So maybe on the thigh. See if you can twist a little further, waking up that back, dropping your shoulders as you twist. Some resistance to that front leg. And one more. Inhale and just to the front. Exhale. Good. Okay, we're gonna drop that chin down to our chest and just gently roll it side to side. Loosening up the neck. Good. Side to side. Now, as you go to the next side, leave it there and feel the tendency of that other shoulder to rise up and intentionally push it down. Push it away from you. So you have one ear trying to get to the shoulder and the other shoulder pushing down. Good, bring the chin back to the chest. As you bring it to the chest, 
instead of folding over in the slouch, sit up nice and tall and bring your chin down to your chest. Pull your shoulder slightly back. Now take the ear to the other shoulder and push away. Down and away with the opposite arm. Good. All right, bring it back to the center. Other side. This time actually take the arm and push out. So you're just pushing, think of pushing all of the stress out of your neck and shoulders as you extend. Good, release. And to the other side. Inhale, exhale, push all that neck and shoulder stress away. Back to the center. Good, just roll those shoulders back. You may have been like me and felt a little tightness in your neck and shoulders. We're just gonna roll them back a few times. Now take them and roll them to the front. As you do, kind of exaggerate that rounded back and sit tall, round and tall. Almost, good, almost like you're rowing. Awesome. One more and back to center. Awesome. All right, cross the other leg over, which probably feels a little awkward. Cross it over and take your right hand on top, left hand underneath, and just give me that um, twist with your arms. Good, awesome. Now we're just gonna rise them up slightly and bring them down. All right, so we're gonna inhale, and exhale, and as you exhale, start to give it more of a bend. Inhale, and more of a fold as you exhale. Feel that in the lower back. Inhale, start to arch, exhale, start to fold. Inhale up, exhale, fold. One more, inhale, and exhale. Good. We're gonna take the hand, so uncross, so you remember that right one was on top. Switch over to the left and give your twist again. Awesome. Okay, going through that again. So inhale further back, exhale fold. You might notice even that one direction of hand on top is more natural to you than the other. Maybe it's easier to keep them crossed. Try to bring those elbows closer together. So instead of having your elbows out here with your hands close, bring them in. Almost like they're just one arm now, right? Big arch, big fold. On this next one, I want you to give a big arch. Release the hands in front of you and fold. Walk those fingers out nice and far. Good. Right here, just shimmy, little right and left. Shimmy right, shimmy left. Sway with the shoulders. Good. And walk those hands right back up. We're gonna go ahead and take it to our knees. So come on over to your knees right here and start with um, an arch and around. Arch and around. Y'all, I started Psalm 100 with you with the wrong verse. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I knew I did, right, as I, uh, or at least in my, so anyway, it's shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. So we'll start there instead. How about it? <laughs> Just arching round. And on this next round, we're gonna come nice and tall and push back into child's pose. We've already done some forward folds, so this may not, uh, this might be easy to go into this time. As you go back, I want you to walk those fingers toward the front and feel a good stretch already in your shoulders. And then we're gonna shimmy right and left, just like we did in our seated pose, just swaying right, swaying left. Now let's walk both hands over to the right side of the mat. I still have them long and extended, so my arms are not touching the ground. Take your 
left hand on top of the right and slightly lean that body toward the left. Inhale and exhale. Just letting the arms and shoulders stretch and lengthen. Now we'll walk it over to the left. Hand, right hand on top. it back to the center and we're just going to come back on all fours this time on all fours we're going to circle those hips so just move them to the right nice big circles and take them the other direction maybe increase your circle increase your range of motion And coming back to the center. We're gonna tuck those toes under, lift the knees slightly, fire up the core. So you just have your um, knees an inch or two off the mat, holding steady right here, pulling the abs in and waking up the core. Good, bringing it right back down, tuck the toes under and take it back into child's pose, stretching the arms out nice and far. And we're gonna push, push right from child's pose in to our cobra pose. So come back forward and go ahead and have the arch in your back. Now, this may be too much work, uh, for your back right now, and if it is, I just want you to come back down to your forearm. All right, so forearms or right into your upward dog. Good. Now we're going to go right back into our child's pose, but this time we're going to take our knees further apart. So take your knees to the outside of your mat if you can and push back into your child's pose. We're going to open up our hips right here. Stretch so far out in front that your forearms are on the mat. We're not in a relaxed, we're not in a full out relaxed position yet. We don't, we're stretching our arms as far away from us as they can go. Again, feeling this shoulder stretch. And just breathe, opening up the hips. Now relax and let the forehead go to the mat. And take a few breaths right here. All right, we're gonna come back to our upward dog. Here. And this time, if you can, lift those thighs up off the mat. That makes it the upward dog instead of the cobra. Just lift those thighs up, pull your shoulders back, pull the abs in, nice and strong, and release. On the release, we're gonna tuck those toes under and take it into our first downward facing dog. In our downward dog, we're going to pedal those feet. So go ahead and let the head be heavy. Push the heels down right and left. Soften the knees. Um, let's stop the pedal. Just soften the knees. Lift the belly up. Drop your head a little lower. And just let your head be heavy. In this place, if you're okay with it, go ahead and just shake your head yes. Yes to receiving all that is good for today and shake your head no to those negative thoughts and lies that like to come in. And we're gonna walk our feet right up by our hands. Take a big inhale up overhead. Big inhale up and we'll take our side bends right and left. Side bends right and left, stretch them. Use your breath. I'll just turn and face you. Use your breath, so inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Your breathing is a big part of what you do in yoga. Connecting your mind and your body, increasing the heat. On the next inhale, you can take your thumbs. We've already uh, warmed up our back a little bit. So go ahead and squeeze your glutes. You can grab one thumb or to even uh, give more protection to your back, you can put your hands on your hips. So either one, slide back then, inhale, and then forward fold for your exhale. From your forward fold, we're just gonna lift halfway up, 
So we flatten out our back, nice tabletop, can put a teacup on it, right? So kind of lift up your shoulders, pull them back, like you're sticking your chest out. Good, knees are soft. That looks awesome. Drop down again, lift all the way up again. Pull over, deepen your stretch. Hold your breath, take it to the back if you choose, squeezing your glutes as you do. And then forward fold again, halfway lift. Taking it down, and we're just going to step that um, left foot back into a nice low lunge. So take your hands and put them on either side of your foot, and just hold right here. You want to have that back leg so you're in a nice low lunge. If it's too much, just, um, well, you probably don't have, you could, I should tell us at the beginning to grab pillows or um, because you probably don't have blocks or anything, but pillows are something that you could always put your hands on when the stretch is too deep for you. We're just holding here, a little fire in the legs. Good. Now go ahead and drop that back knee down. Let the back toe, um, back toes go under and slightly push forward with your body. So you're just taking your weight slightly forward, increasing your stretch. Big stretch in the hip flexors right here. Just holding, holding some of our poses today. I like to do that on Tuesday. Just hold our poses a little longer. Inhale, exhale. I know this is, this may be a lot even for the space in between your front and back leg. All right, we're gonna tuck that toe back under, take that back leg and take it to your first plank of the morning. Hold in your plank. Now, we'll, we can drop our knees down for this first one. Go ahead and drop your knees down. We're gonna take our vinyasa, tuck the toes under, go all the way down and lift all the way up into your cobra or upward dog, pulling those thighs up off the ground. Now we're going to tuck the toes under and shoot it back into downward dog again. Pedal those feet again, stretching them out nice and big with the movements, whatever's comfortable for you. And then just walk those feet up by your hands. We'll stand it nice and tall again, all the way up. Grab a wrist and pull over. Take it the other way. Use your breath. Take your back bend if you choose, squeezing the glutes. Forward fold, halfway lift, lifting it down, and this time we'll just take that right leg back. So into that lunge, low lunge. This is a really low lunge right here. And we've got our back leg lifted strong. So we're gonna hold it there. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. Just verses from Psalm 100 this morning. Just a very short chapter, but it is a well, great, powerful chapter about the Lord. All right, we're going to let that back knee drop down, tuck the toes under, and then lean slightly forward, increasing the stretch in your right leg, the one behind. You're gonna probably feel it a little bit in the left as well, but you're really stretching your right hip flexor right here. Holding. Inhale, exhale. It's good to breathe in those places that are a little uncomfortable. Just increase your breath. Try that exhale with the ocean sound. Deepen your stretch as you're there, pushing forward a little bit further. Good. All right, we're gonna tuck that back toe under, shoot the back leg back, high plank. High plank all the way down, take your vinyasa. If you're okay, just keep it on your toes, lower down, lift it up nice and strong, and then right back into downward facing dog. All right, pedal those feet again. Push and push, and then just soften the knees, drop the head, 
Let's lift that right leg, keeping the toes pointed toward the ground. Lift it up nice and strong. Bring it all the way to the nose. Take it back. Bring it to the same elbow as you drop your hips. Take it back. Bring it to the other elbow. Take it back. And we're going to bring that foot front again to our, this time we're just starting to our low lunge right here from the downward facing dog. So we have our right foot in press again. <laughs> and we're in our low lunge. This time in our low lunge. And you want to make sure those feet are um, not straight behind one in front of the other. They need some distance, preferably about hip width. This time we're going to try to lift up a little stronger into a slightly higher lunge, but it's still a low lunge, like my belly's touching my thighs. Hmm. That could happen maybe easier than I wanted. <laughs> Holding here, pull your abs in, drop your shoulders, try to straighten or lift that back knee, push your back heel down. Awesome, we'll take a couple of more breaths right here. You guys look amazing. This is not an easy pose to hold. And we're going to take those hands back down, drop that back knee, turn it under, and give me that dragonfly stretch. So just open up. Right here. You want to take that right leg and maybe slightly inch it out once or twice to give that bigger hip stretch again. Holding here. Take your hands in front, both inside the leg, and hold the stretch. Now, I'm hoping that your strapper towel is nice and close to you, because we're going to take it. If you have an actual strap that you can put over your back foot, do that. It, and just go ahead and let that back leg drop. If you have a towel, whatever works for you, we are going to pick it up, and we're just going to pull it gently toward our the front of our body we're holding here so i have my opposite arm a lot of times we have our same arm when we do this stretch we have our opposite so you want to make sure you're not twisting the knee too much if it's uncomfortable on the knee just let it back some and that'll solve that so you're just holding this stretch here you're going to feel this even a lot in your left hip stretching. You may feel it in your IT band, your hip flexors. There's a lot going on right here. Holding your stretch. And again, if it's too much, just, really, just hold it back here. Whatever works for you is a good place to be. Good. You're doing great. Try not to have, um, try not to be pulling on the neck or anything. So you're just gently pulling that back leg up, right? You want your head still to be lifted. And release it down. I know you're gonna have to figure out how to come out of that uh, foot in a second, but um, don't worry about it for now. Go ahead and put both hands inside the foot again. And we're gonna see if we can come to our forearms. Um, this is a lizard stretch, and again, if you have a pillow or something you want to put under your arm, that would be great. If you need to stay up a little bit, that is good. Find whatever stretch is good for you, and just hold in here. Inhale and exhale. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. All right, let's tuck that back toe under. You're going to swing that leg. I'm just going to take my, however you want to do it. That wasn't pretty. I'm just going to take that off my foot and hold my plank. And then take my vinyasa all the way down. Lift it up. This time, when we come back, we're going to come into our child's pose again. Wide knees. Take it back. Inhale and exhale.
All right. On the next inhale, we're going to come back actually into our uh, downward facing dog. So I want you to come up on all fours, take those toes, tuck them under, and pedal your feet again. This time we're going to lift that left leg up, point the toes toward the ground, trying not to open the hips. Now come forward, bring the knee to the nose, and shoot it back. Bring the knee to the same elbow, shoot it back. Bring it to the opposite elbow, take it back, and we're going into that low lunge on the left. So, and it's okay to use your hands and help that foot come up to where it needs to be. So we're in that low lunge. We're just going to try to pick our hands up and pick our upper body up nice and strong. Lifting that back knee, that looks so, so good. If you need to keep your hands down, if one side has weakness, you know, you might have an injury, something going on. No worries. You can always stay right here. But everybody looks great. Good. Nice work. We're going to take two more breaths. Nice and big right here. Good. Now we're going to take those hands back down and go into our dragonfly stretch. Opening up. Oh, we did this on the other one with our back knee dropped. My bad. Drop the back knee down. Let that foot relax and do your dragonfly stretch. Awesome. All right, take both hands inside. And if you want to, just inch that foot out ever so slightly and lean forward. Slightly lean forward. All right, it's gonna be time for our crazy stretch with this leg. So I want you to put the strap. Did I keep you on the same leg? I hope not. All right, so take that strap and, no, I didn't. And you're gonna pick that foot up <laughs> with the opposite hand, opposite hand of that back leg. I know, it's kind of tricky to get there, right? And if that strap slides to your ankle and to your foot, that's totally fine. It doesn't matter. I know if you have a towel instead of a strap, this is going to feel or look totally different for you. Just holding here. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. And just meditate on the goodness of the Lord, being thankful for his love. Maybe I'll take your mind off of your uh, pain at the moment too, right? <laughs> Gentle pain. All right, release that down. Let that hand come in front. And we're going to try to, so both hands are inside. You can walk this foot out if you need to. We're going to try to come to our forearms on this one. So lizard stretch right here. If it works for you. If you need to stay on your hands, totally good. Do whatever works. Holding your stretch. Nice. All right. We're going to tuck that back toe under. Shoot it back to a plank. Nice and strong. And then take our vinyasa. Slowly lower all the way down. Lift it up. Nice and strong. And we're going to take it back into child's pose again. As you take it back into child's pose, you could just take that strap off of your feet. We're going to take those knees wide again. One more hip opener. And stretch your arms out as far as you can. Then let your forehead go to the mat. Inhale, exhale. All right, one more breath right here. And we're just going to come up on our full, on all fours and then just make it gently to your back. So whatever feels good, we're going to take it to our back, but we're gonna go ahead and take that strap over our right foot. 
and extend it out. Oh, I said back. I meant seated. <laughs> We're going to go to our back in a sec, but not yet. Sorry. Okay, so sitting up, nice and tall, strap or towel under your foot. I just want you to gently lift this leg. Now, you're going to have a tendency to roll back. I want you to try not to. Try to sit up nice and tall, pull those shoulders back, lift that leg to wherever it is. You, on this stretch, we want to keep our legs mostly straight. So trying not to bend it, even if it just is barely off the ground, right? So pull those toes back towards you a little bit. You could feel the stretch in both the calf and the hamstring. Calf is behind the thigh, hamstring um, is, I mean, calf is behind the lower leg, hamstring is behind the thigh. Okay, now we're gonna start lowering that, but keep, so pull your abs in and work your core a little bit, even as you lower back. So nice and slow, all the way down. And then when you get there, just gently walk those hands up so that you have a bigger stretch in your back of your thigh. And great with your leg being slightly bent. That's not a problem, that's not a problem. You don't need to lock it out here. Pull it in. So we're going to use our strap for some resistance. We're going to take an inhale. And on the inhale, we're going to resist, like pull in on our strap and push away with our foot. All right. Inhale and give resistance for one, two, three, four. Now exhale and pull in closer. So now you're trying to relax on the exhale and you increase your stretch. All right, we're gonna do that again. Inhale and resist for four, three, two, one. Exhale and pull it in closer. Holding your stretch. Hopefully you can deep, the stretch is deeper than it was at the beginning. Holding here. This isn't a place where you're just like, oh, I can hang out here all day. It's a place where you're um, challenging r yourself right at the um, right at the point that your body does not want to, uh, to stretch anymore. Like if you've reached your maximum capacity of your stretch and you're holding there, inhaling and exhaling. Okay, we're going to keep holding the strap, but gently from this same place, let that leg come out to the side. Now, as you do, you do not want to let that other hip come up. So take your hand on top of the hip, keep it pushed to the ground as you open up that leg. Good, that's awesome. Just hold here. Now we're going to do that same kind of resistance. So you may need to grab both hands but don't on the strap, but don't let your hip come up. So be intentional to keep your hip on the ground. Push away with your foot and pull in for four, three, two, one. Now deepen the stretch both towards your face and toward the ground without letting your other hip come up. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Inhale, resist. Four, three, two, one, and increase your stretch, both towards you and toward the ground. All right, just walk that uh, leg all the way up over to the other side. This time your hip can come off the ground, but not your shoulders. So that leg just went long to the opposite side. Good. Hold in here. Now we're going to give that same resistance. You're going to pull in toward the body with your hands and push away with your foot. Ready? Four, three, two, one. Now release. Pull it in a little closer. Breathe. And one more time, four, three, two, one. 
and release. Pull it in closer. Holding. Nice. All right, bring it back to the center. Now we're gonna hold on to that leg and start coming all the way up. It's gonna be hard, right? Pull yourself all the way up, nice and strong. Bring it down, switch those feet out. Get there, just hold that other leg like we started on the first. I'm just reaching back for my cheat sheet for my Bible verses. All right, holding steady right here. Nice and strong. Lift up tall, pull your shoulders back, try to sit up straight, hold that stretch. Go ahead and give resistance right here. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. And relax. Start coming back nice and slow. I love that verse, his faithfulness continues throughout all generations. So a lot of verses in the Bible about that, about the generations. And start walking your uh, leg towards you. And it's good to think about, especially in times like this, when our world seems like, I feel like it's the craziest I've ever experienced. Um, and so much hate going on, so much evil going on. But when you look over history, it's, been hap it's happened before. God's been faithful though. He's been here. He's been through all of it. His love has been here. His faithfulness. We can trust him. We can lean into him. Okay, we're going to resist right here. Push away. And bring it in closer. And one more time. Resist four, three, two, and bring it in closer. Hold here. Good. Now we're going to just, well, let's just pull it in a little bit and hold just a little longer before we take it out. All right. We'll go ahead and take it out to the side, keeping that, those hips on the ground. And we're going to give our gentle resistance right here. Pushing away. Four, three, Two, and pulling in. One more time, resist four, three, two, and pulling in. Holding steady. Now we're gonna gently bring it over to the other side, all the way up and over. You can let your hips come up, but not your shoulders. Man, I'm feeling tightness in my outer hips and thighs today. And I know what that's from. It's from all that band work we did yesterday. <laughs> Good, we're stretching. All right, push away. Resist. Four, three, two. Release. Pull it in a little further. See if you can drop the foot a little closer to the ground. And we'll do that one more time. Resist, four, three, two, and release, pull in closer. Good, bringing it back to the center. You can take that strap off release it down and pull both sides into the chest. We're just gonna rock, sway right and left. Now take your hands and let's do the butterfly or froggy right here. Pull, take them on the outsides of the feet and pull those feet in gently towards the tummy. 
As you do, if you're okay with it, just lift the head slightly, pull the abs in, hold, and then release, push those thighs in together and bring it nice and tight. Good, we're gonna take it out again one more time. Butterfly stretch, bring it up, hold four, three, two, and one. Pull them back in. And just hold on to those lower legs, slightly release. Pull back in one more time. Sway right and left again. Now see if you can grab the outsides of your feet and take your feet like they're flat up toward the ceiling and we'll do our happy baby rock. Just right and left, happy baby. Good. And bring those hands inside the feet, grab the big toes, let the legs relax more, let the knees go out and happy baby again. This time we're gonna add our little kickstand out to the side. So let one leg lengthen. This is just our gentle rocking motion, bringing it all back. Pulling in, nice and close. Opening up those arms wide, taking those knees gentle, right and left, just sway right and left. Loosen up the back again. One final back stretch. Take the knees to the right. Cross the right leg over the left if you're okay with it. Make sure it's above the knee, not on the joint. Look over the left shoulder. Let it gently pull down. All right, bring it uncross. Take the knees to the left side. Look over the right shoulder, take that left leg, cross it over the right, let it gently pull. Take the arms overhead, reach as tall as you can, lengthen out into your pencil stretch, reach and reach. Now reach the right side as far as you can, reach the left side, reach the right, opposite directions, over, with one as far as you can, reaching the toes the opposite way, reach and reach, keep just kind of a climbing walk right here. And on the next one, inhale up, pull the toes towards you, flex the feet, big stretch and release, let those arms come to the side. Close your eyes and just breathe. Staying right there, just breathing, everything coming back to the center. I'm going to read through our whole chapter. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. So when I'm in a place where things feel really hard and the world feels heavy and maybe my life feels heavy, if I can view what the whole, the, really the bulk of that chapter is and focus on the Lord and put my eyes and my attention on him, he changes my perspective so that I see his love, I see his faithfulness, um, not only in the world, but also in my life. From bringing my attention to him. All right, as you feel good, you can just roll to the side. Come on up to your seated place, back to where we started. 
crossing those feet, just loosening up your head, loosening up your neck, and we'll take our big inhale up, hands together at the top, bring them down to your heart, drop your shoulders. Thank you so much for starting your day with me. And um, let's just remember where we want to give our attention and our focus and bless our world today. You guys have a great one. Okay, you.